Uh, we're gonna start stretching and then I'll post the workout um, once we're done with the um, quick stretch out. Uh, and hopefully everybody who wants to join today's class will be in the meeting so then they won't miss what I post in the, in the chat box. Okay, so let's do our stretches. So starting with the upper body, arms working our way down to the legs. Let's go ahead and pull the arm across the chest, stretching out our, stretching out our triceps. And give me a couple wrist rows. Rows two to the left and two to the right. Making sure your arms are nice and straight. They're not bending. Go ahead and switch sides, opening up that chest nice and big as you switch to the other side. Couple circles here, two to the left, two to the right. Opening up that chest one more time. Let's go ahead and do behind our head. So bring that arm up, arm behind your head, slight bend in the elbow, I'm gonna kneel so you can see my arms, and leaning up to the side, so keep your side out. Give me a couple deep breaths here, in three, two, and one. Opening up nice and big, switching arms, grabbing that elbow, adding a little tight, slight tug, leaning up to the side, deep breaths here, in three, two, and one. Opening up nice and big. Let's go ahead and move down to our hips. Let's roll our hip muscles. So doing three big circles to the left, three to the right. Make sure you're going through the full rotation, stretching out that hip muscles, your lower back. This is three. I'm gonna to switch to the outside now. One. Two and three. Coming down to those knees, let's do a couple rotation in those knees. Three to the left, three to the right, making sure you're adding a slight bounce. One, two, three, three to the right, one, two, and three. Go ahead and let's go ahead and move down onto our mat. I'm gonna double up my mat because this one's a little bit thin, my knees. One knee down on the mat, one knee up at that 90 degree bend. Go ahead and hinge forward just far enough where you feel that stretch on that down hip and the inner thigh. Give me three deep breaths here in three, two, and one. Taking your hands onto the floor, pushing off that back knee, straightening your legs as much as you can, just enough where you stretch in the front leg, in the back of the thigh. Holding here for three, two, and one. Bending those knees, stepping your feet together, switching sides, other knee down onto the mat, other knee bent at the 90 degrees, pushing forward, Deep breaths here in three, two, and one. Hands onto the floor, pushing off that back knee, doing the low to knee. Holding here for three, two, and one. Bending those knees, setting your feet together. Let's go ahead and do our alternating taps. I'm going to lay out my mat here. So our alternating taps. You're stepping wide and hip width apart, making sure your knees are slightly bent out, bent, they're not locked out. And then we're gonna do our taps. So we're gonna tap high on the floor, in the middle between our legs, and as far back as you can reach for that low. So high, middle, and low tap. Nice, small, little taps here. So high, middle, low, one more time. High, middle, and low. Letting your upper body hang. Go ahead and grab your elbows. Let's do wrap dot, adding a slight sway. Side to side, bending those knees. Swing here for three, two, and one. Come to a dead hang. And then slowly rolling up when you are ready. Last thing. Two big circles going forward, making sure you're rotating your hands nice and open, feeling that stretch 
in the pec muscles. This is three, two, and two going back. So two and one. Okay, if you feel any tight muscles or muscles, feel free to stretch them out as I am posting the workout into the chat box right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and post it. Okay, so I'll enter. Okay, so that's uh, Tuesday's workout. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start here. Okay, so we need a pair of dumbbells. You need a chair for balance. If you have a wall, you can use a wall instead of a chair. Um, and then also we need a little stool, just, about, just like this one, or the end of a couch. If you have long legs, the end of a couch will work just as well. I'm just pretty short, so I use a stool to elevate one of my legs because we're doing Bulgarian split squats. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and start the first exercise in the upper arm group. It's going to be curls, so bicep curls. So we've done standard curls before, and we've also done hammer curls. Now we're going to mix it up. We're going to do standard and hammer curls together. So here's how it works. You're going to have a pair of dumbbells. Starting position is the standard curl. So we're going to do a regular curl, come up. We're going to flip our hands 80 degrees to that ham hammer hold, bring it back down, curl it back up, switch it back to that standard curl, and repeat. Flip, down, up, flip, down, okay? Make sure your elbows are tucked in next to your side. Try really hard not to bring out your elbows, okay? So we're gonna start in three, two, and one. 50 seconds on the clock, go ahead and begin with those curls. Starting with the standards, so coming up, turning your hands to that hammer hold, bringing back down, curling up, flip, back down, squeezing up, turn, back down. Trying really hard to keep those elbows close to your side. Pace yourself. You want good, nice, controlled reps. Keep going. You have 15 more seconds here. Cutting down in five, three, two, one, and stop. The next lift we're doing for upper body is going to be triceps. Um, we've done this before, but this time now we're going to use both pair of um, dumbbells. So we've done score crushes before, but um, the times we've done it in class, we only use, we've only used one dumbbell, now we're using two. So here's the movement for that. So you're going to be laying completely flat onto your mat. Hopefully you can see me. You're going to place your dumbbell on each side so you don't have to struggle to grab your dumbbell when dumbbells and it's time to start. You're laying completely flat on your back. Hopefully you can see me. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have your dumbbells, one in each hand. Your upper arms are going to stay in place. The only thing that's moving is going to be your elbows and your forearms. So what's going to happen is you're going to bend your elbow, you're going to lower your dumbbells towards the ground, tap it on the ground just slightly, and then bring it back up, just like so. The only thing that's moving is your forearm. Okay, so go ahead and grab your dumbbells, position them next on either side of your um, hips, and then we're going to start. In three, two, one, go ahead and begin, 50 seconds on the clock. Make sure you're lowering your dumbbells all the way to the ground before you bring them back up to starting position. So tap the floor slightly and then push back up. Squeezing those triceps in place. Just a light little tap. If you find that your dumbbells are slamming to the ground, it just means your dumbbells are a little bit too heavy at the moment. Go ahead and switch it up for something lighter. You want to have control over these dumbbells. Keep going. You have 10 seconds left. Coming down in five, 
three, two, one, and stop. Okay, third exercise of the group. We're doing push-ups. Um, so we've done this before. We're doing push-up, push-up releases. So what happens is you're gonna go on your mat. You can do standard push-ups or um, knee push-ups. So what happens is you're coming up to a push-up position. You're coming down nice and slow. Go ahead and release your hands for a second and then push back up. Put down to the ground, release those hands and push back up, okay? Same thing on the knees. We're going for controlled movements of the upper body, squeezing your chest muscles, okay? So we're gonna start in three, two, one, go ahead and begin. I'm gonna do the first half in a full push-up position. To the side so you can see me here. So you start in here, lower yourself to the ground nice and slow. Taking your hands off the ground for just a second, we're pushing back up. This is a halfway point. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my knees. So on your knees here, same thing. Down, off, back up. Down, hands off, back up. 10 more seconds. In five, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, moving on to the next group, lower body or legs. Okay, so this one, if you have resistance bands at home, this is a good time to use them. I don't have any resistance bands with me in this room, so I'm just gonna be doing body weight. <laughs> um, so what happens is we're doing our squat shuffles, right? So you're coming down to that squat, you're shuffling. For me, I'll do three to the left and then three to the right, depending on how much room you have in your um, space, right? So you're gonna do a shuffle to one end of your room. You're gonna give me a hop and then shuffle back to that starting position. Hop and back and forth. Okay, if you have a resistance band with you, wrap it just above the top of your knees. It'll help you engage the outer and other muscles and also the inner thigh. So we're gonna start in three, two, one. Go ahead and begin, 50 seconds on the clock. Come down and start shuffling along your pathway. So I'm doing three, hop, just a slight lower hop. Up and back. Try to stay nice and low as you're shuffling. You're more than halfway there. Keep it up. Ten more seconds. You should feel a little burden by this by now. In five, three, two, and one. You are done with that one. Moving on to the next exercise in this group. This is where the back of your chair will come into play, or if you have a wall around you, this is where you can use that. So, we're gonna be doing I can get my rest, sorry guys. <laughs> We're doing calf holds. Um, so with this one, um, you can either hold your weight, um, hold your dumbbells to weigh you down, or you just do body weight for this first round. Okay, what happens is you're be holding, leaning against your chair for balance, and you're be coming up to your very tippy toes and just holding that hold calf hold for 50 seconds. The second round, we're gonna do the other leg, okay? I noticed I switched the, the um, pattern around in the legs. Um, we're gonna do Bulgarian space squats, um, the very last one, okay? So we're gonna start here, grab your dumbbells. You can either do two in one hand or one in one hand, up to you. I'm gonna start my left leg, in the second round, I'll do my right leg. 
Um, because my left leg is my weaker side. But we're gonna start in three, two, one. Go ahead and begin. 50 seconds. Come up into a very tippy toes and just hold it. It seems very simple, but 50 seconds is a long time. You'll definitely feel it in your calves. So stay up there. And make sure if you're using dumbbells to lay yourself down, to challenge yourself, you're holding it on the same leg you're doing the calf hold on. <sighs> Try really hard to feel your balance. Use that wall, use that chair. <sighs> Try to stay really high. <sighs> you have 10 seconds left. And if you notice your heels are dropping, push it back up in five, three, Two, one, and drop. Okay, so remember which side you did first because the second round we're gonna do the other leg for 50 seconds. Okay, moving on to those Bulgarian split squats. So I push my stool up against the wall because my stool doesn't have any grip and it slides. So I'm gonna push it up against the wall so it allows me to fully focus on doing the lunges. So you have one leg resting on your stool, your chair, or the end of your couch if you have really long legs, and you're coming down into that squat, making sure, let's see if this chair will allow me to do it. It might be too high for me. But you have one leg up, a little bit too high, I'm fine. One leg onto your stool, your chair, you're coming down to that lunge, right? Make sure your knee is not going past your toes. That's the key, that's the goal, okay? So as you can tell, this is too high for me, so it was kind of hard to get into that good form. Make sure you're aware of what you're using if it's too high for you or too low, okay? We're gonna start um, in three, two, one. Go ahead and begin, 25 seconds for the first leg. Coming down, make sure to push your chair up against something if it's a type of chair that Slides on the floor. We're looking for good, strong reps here. Push with those heels, that front leg. You should be pushing up with those heels. Five more seconds. In three, two, one. Switch legs. You'll find your dominant side is a lot more easier to keep form. You'll be able to squat a little bit lower. Push with those heels. 10 seconds left. Cutting down in three, two, one, and stop. Okay, moving down to core. So this one we have done in the past and we haven't done it for a while, but we're doing our starfish toe taps. <laughs> so starfish toe taps is you laying completely flat on your back onto your mat, you have your legs, your arms spread out like a starfish or a big X, and you're gonna bring your hands and legs meeting up at the very center of your torso. And you're bringing it back and forth, okay? So go ahead and head up, head down to your mat. We're gonna start in three, two, one. 50 seconds has started. Go ahead and begin bringing that opposite hand and foot. Touching at in the center. Of your torso, your body. Make sure you pace yourself. I know it's really easy to go really fast at the beginning, but you have to keep in mind you are moving for 50 seconds. So add a pause if you need to for each rep. Keep going. You have 10 seconds left. A couple more here. At least two more. In five, three, two, one, and stop. The next exercise for core is very straightforward. It's crunches, just basic crunches. <laughs> so I noticed we haven't ever done basic crunches before in this class, so we're going to do it today. So you're going to be laying flat on your back, on your mat. Make sure your knees are bent, feet flat on the ground, and you're just coming up 
into a, just enough for the upper portion of your back is off the ground, and you have this little crunch right on the top of your abs, and you're bringing it back down. Try really hard to not use your hands to pull your neck up, but we're just coming up, we're just having enough crunch on the top of the abs, okay? So we're gonna start in three, two, and one. Go ahead and begin with those straight forward crunches. Look up towards the ceiling to help with the, if your neck starts to get sore, it's because it's just bending a little bit too much. So just look up towards the ceiling to help it keep neutral if you can. Be aware if you notice your hands are starting to pull your neck up to get up into that crunch. You're more than halfway there. Fifteen seconds left. A couple more here. Tighten down in ten. In five, three, two, one. Go ahead and stop. Go ahead and stay down on your mat. Catch your breath because the last thing we're doing is penguins. So the penguins, we've done this plenty of times before. So same format. You're Knees are bent, your feet are both flat on the ground, the, your um, upper portion of your back is off the ground, and now you're just turning side to side, making sure you're going to the full range of motion to get your obliques working, okay? We're gonna start in three, two, and one. Go ahead and begin, 50 seconds on the clock is ticking. Bring up that upper back. Go ahead and turn side to side, tapping those heels. If you have to spread out your leg a little bit because you have a sort of leg like mine, go ahead and do so but as long as you're fully turning side to side to get those obliques engagement. Keep going. This is the halfway point. After this, you will take a rest. You have 15 more seconds here. Kind of in ten. Five, three, two, one, and stop. That is 50 seconds. And that is the end of round one. Go ahead and grab some water. Turn up the AC if it's starting to get warm in your area. I'm going to go prop open the door. I need something. Maybe this chair. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so hopefully opening the door will get some air flow into this room. And hopefully there's no birds hanging outside. Because <laughs> sometimes you can hear the birds out there fighting. Okay, so um let's do round two. Um, go ahead and grab your dumbbells. We're going to start back up with the upper body. I'm going to put my dumbbells here so it's easier to grab. Okay, so back to those curls. So remember, when you come up, that up position is when you're going to turn your hands out to that hammer, and then you switch back. Okay, so we're going to start in three, two, one, 50 seconds on the clock. Go ahead and begin when you can. Make sure your stance is nice and stable, nice and wide. You're curling up, you're turning your hands, bring it down, squeezing up, tilting it back. If you're able to keep your elbows locked in, you should definitely feel your biceps pulling as you're lowering and bringing up these dumbbells. Make sure you add a pause as you flip and then bring it back down. Up, flip, back down. Keep going. You have five, three, two, one, and stop. Moving on to the triceps. So go ahead and position your dumbbells on either side, so you don't have to go searching when you're laying down on your mat, like I've done before. 
Plank into the side. Go ahead and lay completely flat on your back. We're going to do those four crushers. Down here. Starting in three, two, and one. 50 seconds on the clock. Go ahead and begin. So upper arm is locked in place. Only thing moving is those forearms. So you bring it down. Just slightly tapping on the floor above your head. And then extending it back up. Squeeze those triceps to control your dumbbells. Don't just let the dumbbells fall towards the ground. Fight that negative weight. At a pace you can maintain. Keep it up. You have 10 more seconds here. Counting down in five, three, two, one. Go ahead and stop. Moving on to the last exercise for the upper body is going to be those push release. Um, so go ahead and hop into your um, mat, hop into your um, push up position. We're going to start in three, two, one, and begin. I'm going to do them on my knees for this round. So bring yourself, lower yourself nice and controlled to the mat. Release your hands for a second, then push them back up. <sighs> Keeping those elbows nice and close to your side as much as possible. <sighs> Pace yourself here. This is the halfway point. Keep it up. You have 10 seconds left here. Heading down in five, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, moving on to legs. Those shuffle jumps. Go ahead and make some room. Make sure your dumbbells are out, dumbbells are out of the way. You don't accidentally run into them. But we're going to start in three, two, one. Go ahead and begin. 50 seconds is ticking. So coming down, shuffling three or four steps to the left, adding a little hop, just a tiny little hop. And then three, back. Staying nice and low the entire time. This is the halfway point right here. Push with those heels. Focus your weight onto the heels. Ten seconds left. In five, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, let's do those calf holds. I'm gonna turn my chair here so I can face you. Um, holding my calf hold. Okay, so I did the left leg for the first round. Now I'm gonna do my right leg. So that means I'm holding both my dumbbells on my right arm to weigh myself down. 50 seconds, get ready. We're gonna start in three, two, and one. Timer has started. Come up to the very top of your tippy toe and hold it. Try really hard not to come down and not lose your balance like I am right now. <sighs> this is the halfway point. You're halfway there. You should definitely start feeling your calf muscles here. Ten more seconds here. Keep it up. If your heels are starting to lower, readjust. In five, three, two, one, and drop. Okay. Go ahead and set down your dumbbells. Go ahead and grab your shoulder using one for your split squats. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna start my weaker side, so it's gonna be my left leg first. Go ahead and get ready. We're gonna start in three. Make sure you push your chair against something so it doesn't move. Two and one. Go ahead and begin. Come down into that lunge here, making sure your knee's not going past your foot. Make sure you can readjust if it is. Just scoot your leg more forward, and that should fix that problem. 10 more seconds here. Nice and control. Pacing in three, two, one. Switch legs, switch sides. That one's balanced. Ten more seconds here, a couple more. Counting down in five, three, two, and one. Go ahead and stop. Okay, moving on to the next group, core. So back to those starfish toe taps. Go ahead and lay down onto your mat. Spread out your legs and arms into that big X. You can see me. Oh. And we're starting in three, two, one. Go ahead and begin. 50 seconds has started. Start moving when you can. Bring up those hands and feet, meeting in the middle. Pace yourself. This is the halfway point. If you need to pause for a moment, go ahead and do so right here. But the last 10 seconds, I want you to give me at least two more reps before I call it good with this. This is 10 seconds right here. Give me a couple more if you paused. Counting down in five, three, two, one, and rest. Go ahead and stay down. We're doing our crunches. So go ahead and bend your knees up, making sure both feet are flat on the ground. We're gonna start our crunches in three, two, one. Go ahead and begin. 50 seconds, bring up your upper back off the ground. Just crunch your neck where you feel that squeeze or that tension in your top portion of your abs. Then you lower yourself back to the ground. So I really hard not to pull on that neck to get yourself off the ground. We have 20 seconds left here. Couple more. 10 seconds left. Counting down in five, three, Two, one, and rest. Okay, go ahead and get ready for your penguins. We're gonna start in a couple seconds here. The same form. Now we're just gonna turn side to side, tapping our heels in three, two, one. Timer has started, 50 seconds on the clock is ticking. Go ahead and bring your upper body, upper back off the ground. And as you turn side, to side, tapping those heels. Go ahead and look up towards the ceiling to help with keeping your spine and your neck neutral. This is the halfway point. Make sure you focus on that breathing. Don't hold your breath, especially when it gets hard. You have 10 seconds left. Counting down in five, three, two, one, and stop. And that is the end of round two. Go ahead and grab some more water. Get a towel if you're starting to sweat like I am. <laughs> we have one more round and then we're gonna Stretch out. 
Okay, so we are right on time. This morning's class, I don't know what happened, but I was definitely over time. I'm, <laughs> I don't teach for one day, and I'm like, um, I already lost touch with staying in that 50-minute um, time that, we are, that I'm allowed. Okay, so hopefully we're able to get some water. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells one last time, because we're going to do... Those curls one last time. So I'm gonna set my dumbbell here, up here. There you go. Okay, we're gonna start with those curls in three, two, and one. Go ahead and begin. 50 seconds on the clock. Lock those elbows in next to your side. And begin those curls. Make sure you are aware of your posture. I know this is the third round, so your muscles are starting to get fatigued. And so a lot of times when we get tired, our posture starts to go. So if you're starting to hunch over or starting to lean back, go ahead and readjust before you continue with your reps. Yeah, 15 more seconds here. Five seconds left. In three, two, one. You are done with those curls. Moving on to those triceps. So go ahead and head back down to the floor. Position your dumbbells on either side. Okay, we're gonna start in three, two, and one, go ahead and begin. 50 seconds on the clock has started. Just lower your dumbbells toward the ground and extend up. Keep going, and we're like halfway there. 15 seconds here, 10 seconds here, a couple more reps. Counting down in five, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, you are officially done with your dumbbells. Go ahead and send them aside so you don't <laughs> absolutely kick them. Go ahead and roll over onto your stomach, down onto your mat, because we're doing those push release one last time. Okay, so get ready. We're going to start in three, two, one. Go ahead and begin. If you haven't done um, a full push up just yet, I challenge you to do at least one or two before you switch down to your knees. This is the halfway point. Ten more seconds here. Hang on in five, three, two, one, and stop. You are officially done with upper body. Moving on to the second group, legs. Let's do the shuffles with the jumps. One last time. Move this out of the way. <laughs> okay, get ready in three, two, and one. Go ahead and begin, start shuffling when you can. So coming down into that low squat, shuffling side to side. Keep in mind, we're not looking for speed. We're looking for nice controlled steps, good form. Just a little hop. Look forward to help with your back. We don't want you hunching over.
10 seconds left. Heading down in five, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, so this is the third round for those calf holds. We're gonna do 25 seconds, one leg, 25 seconds, the other leg to keep it even. So go ahead and grab onto your chair. Grab your dumbbells if you're using them to weigh yourself down to challenge your calf muscle. But we're gonna start in three, two, one. Go ahead and begin. 25 seconds on the clock. Come up to that tippy toes. Try really hard not to lean too much onto the chair. Five seconds left here. Heading down in three, two, one. Switch sides. Go ahead and just move your dumbbells over and switch to the other leg. <laughs> Don't lose your balance. Ten seconds left. In five, three, two, one, and stop. Okay. Moving on to the last exercise for legs is those flip squats. Heading back onto your couch or your chair. Starting with your weaker, weaker side, less, less flexible side. Starting in three, two, when 25 seconds on the clock has started, go ahead and hop into it when you can. Nice controlled reps. Push with those heels as you come up. 10 seconds left on this side. <laughs> can you get to the bird? <laughs> Three seconds left in two and one. Switch legs, switch sides. So I'm up in Colorado, in the building here, and it's like right next to the um, mountains or hills. 10 seconds left. There's always a lot of birds. <laughs> There's like a hiking trail like right out the door. In three, two, one, and stop. So that's why you can probably hear the birds during class. Okay, last group, we got the core. So let's go ahead and walk down to our mat. Let's do that starfish toe tap one last time for today. So we're going to start. Spread out both legs and that big X. In three, two, one. Go ahead and begin. 50 seconds on the clock. Cut and run the below one time. So we're going to cut it down to 40 seconds. So keep going. I'll tell you when to stop. This is the halfway point. Oop, where goes that? 10 seconds left. Counting down in five, three, two, one, and stop. Go ahead and stay down, get ready for those crunches. Starting in three, two, one. Go ahead and begin, 40 seconds on the clock here. Start with, go ahead and begin those crunches when you can. Since you're running out of time for class, I have shortened the time by 10 seconds. So I want you to challenge yourself to move the entire 40 seconds. Give me everything you got. This is the halfway point. Ten seconds left here. Counting down in five, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, last thing on our list is those penguins. We're going to start in three, two, one. Go ahead and begin. Forty seconds on the clock. Go ahead and start tapping your heels when you can.
Keep going. This is the halfway point. You have 20 seconds left, and then we're going to stretch. Keep moving. Last 15 seconds here. Heading down in 10. Focus on that breath. In five, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, and you made it full body workout. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop into the stretch. We have exactly five minutes left. Go ahead and hop into your child's pose when you can. So starting off with your palms completely flat onto the floor as you push back into child's pose. Here. Give me a couple deep breaths here. In three, two, and one. Coming up, fill it, your palms up towards the ceiling and push back down into that pose. Further stretching out your back here, holding here for three, two, and one. Coming back up. Let's go ahead and do our tricep stretch here. So take one arm through the other arm using your weight, pushing down on that down arm here and holding here. Make sure your hand is facing up towards the ceiling here for three, two, and one. Coming up here, switching arms, switching sides, pushing down, holding here for three, two, and one. Coming up. Let's go ahead and do cobra. So lower yourself completely down to your mat. Take your hands, pushing up into cobra, stretching out your middle abs here, making sure your shoulders are not shrugging. Holding here for three, two, and one. Pick your shoulder to look over left to right, it doesn't matter. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Turning to the opposite shoulder. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Come back to the middle. Go ahead and lower yourself back down to your mat. So we're gonna push up and back into downward dog. So go ahead and tuck your toes under you. You're gonna push up and back into downward dog. Go ahead and have a slight bend in those knees. Start pedaling your feet left and right, stretching out those calf muscles. Pedaling here for three. Two, and one. Bend those knees, lower them back to the ground. Let's go ahead and do a runner stretch one last time. So one knee onto the mat, one knee bent at nine degrees, pushing forward, making sure your, up, your upper body is upright. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Take your hands, placing them onto the mat. Pushing off that back knee, doing nose to knee. Straightening both legs, holding here for three, two, and one. Bending those knees, stepping your feet together, switching sides. One knee down, one knee up, pushing forward. You'll feel a stretch here in that down leg. In three, two, and one. Hands back onto the mat. Pushing off that back knee, straightening both legs as much as you can. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Bending those knees, stepping your feet together. Let's go ahead and do a rag dog. So leg feet are slightly more than hip width apart. Letting your upper body hang. Grabbing your elbows, making sure your knees are slightly bent. And swaying side to side, stretching out that lower back. If that swing, is hurting your lower back, just let your upper body hang. Holding here for three, two, and one. If your swing come, come down to a dead hang, then slowly roll up. Last thing, one big circle going forward with the arms, open that chest muscle. And one big circle going backwards, and that is class right on time. I hope you got a good workout today. I will see everybody Tuesday. Thank you.
Thanks for coming, everybody. So